everybody. <laughs> Kevin's got a, a cat attached to his face right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's time for neighborhood community shout outs. Right here, buddy. I got it. Twist a little or something because my arm is not comfy. Okay. All right. Shout out. Let's get started. Ow. That hurt. You're not going to have a nose soon. <laughs> you hit me twice. You hit me twice. No more. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Bambi S. She had her water heater blow at 2 a.m. Thank God she was still awake and she was able to turn off the gas so nothing more serious happened. So thumbs up to you, Bambi, for uh, being an all-miner like me. Betsy Wetsy suggested that we do movie reviews. She said weekly or monthly, but we're not going to set ourselves to a schedule. We will do movie reviews when we watch movies and we can do reviews. And we will announce movie review from the neighbors. So you guys will know. Terry Johnson, thanks for letting me know about the baby polar bear at the St. Louis Zoo. I don't like that he's all alone, so I am no longer going to be here. I am going to put on a polar bear costume and go live with the baby polar bear at the St. Louis Zoo. He's not a baby anymore. He's, he's still a baby. He's 850 pounds. But he's still a baby. He's, and he needs he two, needs a mommy. He's two and a half years old. That's not a baby. Okay, he's a toddler polar bear. But he needs he needs help. He needs company. He can't live all by himself. He's going to get lonely. I need to go live with the polar bear at the St. Louis Zoo. So if any of you want to see me from now on, you're going to have to come to the St. Louis Zoo. Happy birthday to Kona. Jess Lucera's little puppy turns one year old today. And we got a couple of new subscribers. Josephine Vega. Welcome to the neighborhood. Living with the Lauras. Welcome to the neighborhood. Dougie Styles kind of sounds. I got hair in my mouth. Hold on. Dougie Styles kind of sounds a little familiar, but I'm not sure. So, you know me. Welcome to the neighborhood. And Mr. Chocolate Guy72476. We haven't heard from you in a long time. Welcome back, dude. You got to comment more often. We miss you. Uh -huh. Okay. I love my singing monsters. Told us about a dream that he had. Um, he had a dream that he fell out of an airplane, landed on a dolphin. The dolphin had a dragon's head. Okay. Okay. You. The question was about premonitions or dreams that came true. Okay, so you're thinking, there's no way this came true. But the next morning, he fell down the stairs and landed on tile that had a dolphin on it. And he was dragging his butt for the rest of the day. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. Okay, my question from yesterday was... If you could be one age for the rest of your life, what would you choose and why? And we're going to start with Bambi S. She chose between 28 and 30 because that was when her kiddo was healthier and was eating her out of house and home and didn't have to be fed through a G-tube. I think that is a really good age and a really good reason. Looking at you. Hi. <laughs> no. <God>. <laughs> okay. Terry Johnson says 28 because that's when you're healthy, still young, but mature. 
Jack Salmon says 19 because he was pretty then. Crimson Fairy says 33, still young but old enough to have some wisdom. The Abyss, he doesn't want to be one age for the rest of his life. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Big D, 33. That was before he had all his back problems. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, I would say. We're, we might have a little bit of an issue here, guys. We got Boomer on Kevin's lap, and Mojo is now on my hassock. <laughs> a heck of a hassock, too. That's right. He's on my hassock. Angie Lupus Life says, 33, young enough to get away with stuff, but old enough to be taken seriously. Tanya Longley, 25. Drinking age, enough, old enough to go out and have fun, and young enough so you don't need a lot of rest to regain your energy. Greg Meyer, 17. That was the best, some of the best times of his life, and he wants to be able to see his grandma before she dies. So, good reason, Greg. Melody Mainville, 29, best times in her life, including giving birth to her firstborn, Caden. Yeah. I love my singing monsters. Bye. Says 10 years old because best year ever. I can't remember 10 years old. I, it was 45 years ago for me. Yeah. Nope, I can't remember 10. Yeah, it, it, it's too long ago. RFS Dan, which by the way is an awesome channel if you guys haven't gone over and checked them out yet, you must do so. Go check out RFS Dan. Check him out, thumbs up and subscribe. Um, 29, before his gray hair started growing and he has a big mohawk. Not all the time he wears a hat in most of his videos, but sometimes he'll wear his big mohawk. And he says, maybe a gray hawk, mohawk would be cool. I think any color mohawk would be pretty cool. But he says 29 before the gray hair started. Jessica CT, she wouldn't want to be stay at any age either because with different ages becomes different privileges. Well, when you're young. Yeah. When you're old like me. <laughs> not much to look forward to anymore. Except more gray hair. You look forward to waking up to me every day. Yes, dear. <laughs> uh, Jess Lucero says 29, fun times. 28. Or, excuse me, 28. Fun times, just turned 40 in March. Happy belated birthday, by the way. And the aches and pains are starting to set in. They don't get any better. <laughs> Cold today, 30, old enough to know better but young looking enough to know that no one knows you know better. Interesting uh, train of thought there. Okay, and that's all the comments I have to answer. Ruby so, now. what age would you want to be? I could, I, it seems like... Blah. That's not an age. Blah. It seems like around 30 is, is pretty much what everybody's saying. So I'd have to say... Around 30, I was probably still playing music, and, uh, yeah, 30. Well, I have a little bit of a dilemma in this situation, because I would like to be around 32, 30 also. <laughs> However, that means I would not have met Kevin. Yeah. So, I would have, I would want to be in my 30s but I want to change the timeline to where I meet him but if you at were, that age. If you were 30 forever then you still would have been 30 when you met But it? But I want it to be Get it? when I first turn 30 and I meet you and and we start our life then. Alright, alright. You know what I mean? Sure. You know what I mean guys? My question for tonight is Weirdest thing about you, and are you proud of it? It's 
time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Oh, that's me. <sighs> okay. Tonight, so the last nice question was about um, Sam Raimi and something that seems to show up in all of his movies. Uh, apparently, there's a, a, lot, a bunch of other stuff too, including uh, uh, a bottle of Maker's Mark whiskey. Apparently, shows up in all of his movies. I never noticed that. Yeah, but uh, this has started before he he was even famous because it was his car in college, and it was. Um, it was a 1973 Oldsmobile Delta 88, and it shows up in all of his movies, except for one. And the only reason it's not in that movie is uh, because uh, it got edited out and was up on uh, edit number four. But he actually did a western. I don't remember the title of the western. I know Terry will tell me at the end of this. <laughs> Terry, you're so cute. Um, apparently, the, uh, the car was in that movie as well. Alright, and the people who figured that one out was Terry Johnson, Cole Today, Greg Meyer, Ben B.S., Tanya Long. Yay! <laughs> Jeez, oh man. Okay, and tonight's trivia question is about the Evil Dead, since there was two of them, 1981 and 2014, 2013, the remake. How, how much blood, fake blood, was used during the making of both of those movies. Separately or together? Oh, separately. Compare the two. There you have it. There's your trivia question for the night. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. Mojo wouldn't be here today if it weren't for all of <laughs> We wouldn't be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very much. <laughs> She's hitting my hand. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you all tomorrow. Right.